Hey folks, welcome. Probably one of the hardest things to do when working with Bach is to keep track of all of those parentheses and uh, make sure that the list that we uh, send to the Bach objects are well formed. So in this video, I want to uh, demonstrate a way of uh, simplifying this process of keeping track of parentheses and so on. And uh, I'm going to um, build a list and then uh, use the structure of that list to actually form another list uh, with different values. Today we're going to uh, create a box score procedurally. We're going to start uh, creating one measure and then adding more measures at the end. Uh, we are going to first create a list of durations. And then we're going to use the, the list structure from the durations to pick pitches from a, a pitch collection. So first we need to understand how to um, create a, a list of durations. I have to create two set of parentheses, one for the voice and the other one for the uh, measure. So uh, for uh, the list length of the duration will be equal to the number of voices, while within each voice, uh, the list length of each voice of, of each voice will be uh, the number of measures for that voice. In uh, back score, uh, durations are given in relative time as opposed to the back roll where durations are given in absolute time. So we're going to use ratios instead of uh, milliseconds values as in back roll. And then I can send in a bang and I will uh, generate my first measure of two quarter notes and a half note. If I want to uh, create a rest, I can just uh, use negative values for uh, my uh, durations. If I want to add another voice, I can just uh, add another um, set of parentheses and within that set of parentheses, I can have uh, <clears throat> my other measure and back score will uh, read the length of the of that list and create the number of voices that are detected. So uh, to uh, create a uh, to have the clefs actually uh, reflect the range of the voices, I can send in a clefs auto message, or I can just uh, add an attribute to the uh, score object itself by selecting the auto message um, um, attribute. And then each time uh, the score is edited, uh, this message will be sent in. So I can just add the clefs auto uh, auto message as an attribute and then I don't need to worry about uh, sending um, the message each time. We can use the recursive rhythm object that I have created. I have discussed this object in a previous video and you can click on the i-card above to see how this object works uh, in, in detail. But briefly here, uh, this object creates a uh, set of um, uh, stochastic durations based on the probability given by the sliders that you can see. The first slider will be a whole note. The second slider will be a, a half note, eighth note, and so on. Uh, and the sliders give me the probability that, that that value will appear in my measure. I can also change the subdivision of the measure and the slider at the bottom, it just uh, gives me the probability of each one of these values being a rest. So uh, I need to wrap this uh, list into two set of parentheses. One indicates the voice and the other one indicates the measure. And in this case, I will have just one measure and one voice. Now I have uh, a subdivision three. You can't really see, but the, trust me, that's what it's doing. You can see the triplet up there. Um, if, what if I want to have more than uh, one voice? Then I can just have more than one object here, uh, like so. And I want to collect um, all of the outputs of these different objects into a back collect object. Um, and this will uh, uh, just generate a list uh, of lists of durations um, and uh, it will output as one single list, which will be read 
by uh, the box score as a uh, multiple voices uh, score. I need to send first a bang to the uh, rhythmic generator uh, and then I send a bang to the back collect object. object. But since this, um, there is a recursive process inside that, um, in that, that object that might take, uh, more, uh, might take some time, I need to make sure that the order of execution is uh, followed um, and I can just add a deferred low object uh, which gives low priority to the second bang of the bank bank object and that what it means is that it will wait for every task in the patch to be done before uh, that bank is let through so now i have um, multiple uh, voices and uh, and with different outputs for each voice as i was expecting i can change the of, of course the probability of uh, the probability tables for each object and I can change the subdivision for instance have a three or uh, say a seven and then uh, get also a polyrhythmic texture okay so um, for we're going to use this list structure to actually also for to pick my my pitches and for the raw pitch material for the uh, for this um, patch will be a simple harmonic series which I uh, generate using the cage harmonic series I'm going to just to have uh, headless uh, stemless notes and I don't care about the duration because I only care about the uh, the pitch value of these uh, objects so um, I can just send an auto message a dump sense in this case I will get a new output from the sense uh, output so I need to uh, connect that one and now I can generate a new uh, harmonic series based on my fundamental and it's going to be uh, 16 partials for this um, for this harmonic series which works fine in my case I have four voices and I want to uh, slice up this list into sub lists so then I can then use uh, each sublist for each one of the voices. I have four voices, so I will slice up this list into an, the number of voices um, using uh, a buck group object. The buck group object will uh, um, um, divide the list, the incoming list, into sublists based on its attribute. Uh, the count attribute will uh, uh, divide this list equally into sublists each one of the sublists will will contain four uh, pitch values i want to be able to pick uh, from this list of lists uh, the correct uh, pitch value so i will use a, a back lookup object and the back lookup object works like a zl lookup object where I uh, store a list into the right uh, inlet and then pick an item from the left uh, inlet but with the difference that I can actually pick elements from uh, nested lists like uh, Bach does so um, for instance if I want to pick the first element of the first sub list in this case I will send a address 11 uh, so if I want to pick the second element of the second sublist, I will send 2, 2, etc. Let's look at the max depth att attribute and how it works in this case. So I'm using the duration lists as uh, my, um, my um, source to create the list of pitches. And uh, with the max depth one, I will iterate through the voices. The max depth through, I will also iterate through the voices, but without uh, one set of parentheses. The max depth three is what I want because it actually iterates through uh, each one of the duration values. And each one of the duration values will um, output also an index. And this is what I need to use because the index will uh, give me the index uh, of the voice and then the index of the note within the measure. Uh, so if I, I'm going to pick uh, one value from the pitch list 
uh, for each one of the durations. And I want to make sure I pick the right voice, so the, the right sub list, but I also want to uh, cycle through this, these values uh, by picking the next available uh, pitch value each time I have a new uh, uh, duration. So uh, in this case, I, I'm using the, uh, the voice uh, index and then the, um, the note index within the measure, but I will get a lot of null values because uh, sometimes there are more notes in the, in the measure than there are in the sub list of pitches. So I need to make sure that doesn't happen and I can use just a, a Bach expert ob object and which uh, will contain a modular function. The modular function is exactly what I need because I can uh, take the uh, note index within the measure and then modulo it by the length of the sub list in the pitch list. I want the output of that function to go from one to four in this case and not from zero because the back lookup object is actually one based and not zero based uh, like most of um, back of uh, max uh, list objects so i can uh, just uh, subtract one and then add one at the end and that will give me an output that is always within the bounds of the length of the sub list i need to connect the command line to the uh, collect object so that the list structure is preserved and now for each duration value I will also have a pitch value. The next step I want to take is to have a uh, multiple measures for this uh, back score. So I need to collect uh, to send multiple banks to these rhythmic generators and then to collect them into uh, separate collect objects so uh, it will be uh, each incoming measure will be wrapped with the attribute at in wrap one and then uh, when the list is done when the uh, when the uzi is done i will output all of the um, measures as a list which will also be wrapped because each voice needs to be wrapped in its own set of parentheses uh, and uh, so i will use the the bank of outlet from the Uzi to generate my measures. And then the middle uh, outlet of Uzi is actually the indicates that the process is done. So I can use that one to output the final uh, list 